Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN. It is Dion. If, if this is your first time here, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. I went to Ulta today to get matched to the Becca Foundation because in the Boxy Charm, they, you know, they actually threw it away. I did try the Maple, which was the lightest shade in the three pack sample they sent for their complexion product test thing that they're doing now. And it matched the. The lightest one was maple, which was too dark. And when I went on Sephora.com and I did the match thing based on my match to the Cover FX Power Play Foundation in G60, it said that my shade was hazel. And so I went into Ulta to match and see. And I put the Cover FX on my hand, the G60, and I went over to the Becca products. And the, the shade that actually look the closest was fawn and i'm like hmm, that's interesting but it was like a, a hair orange and so i was like hmm and that was the 24 hour one long wear whatever it was which was in the sample packet that they sent sorry for scratching um so i was telling the salesperson I wanted to say MUA, but I don't even know if they're really makeup artists or not. I was telling her like my skin issues and she said, well, that one is like a, a thicker one. Maybe you want to try um, the other Becca foundation that's called Skin Love. She said, it's not as heavy. It's medium, I mean, low to medium coverage, she said, and it's more breathable. She said that may be better. And so I matched that one and that was like an exact match on the back of my hand anyway to the Cover FX Power Play G60. So I said, well, do you do samples? Ulta doesn't do samples. So you know what I told her? I said, you know what, I'll go to Sephora and get samples. <laughs> I really did. They really do need to do samples at Ulta. And so I went to <laughs> Sephora inside JCPenney's at Christiana Mall. And so she gave me a sample. And it wasn't even full. So I'm like, thank you. And I walked on down to the Sephora store, also in Christiana Mall, <laughs> and got another sample of the same thing. And so I'm going to... And I should have brought my cover effects here just to do like a side by side on my forehead. And I probably could still do that, but I'm going, I'm not going to though. Um, Cause then I'll just be more to edit. So this is the fawn. And I know I just got real quiet. And I never do foundation with my fingers. But on the back of my hand, though, I was like, this looks really good. And I wanted to have enough where I can try it over a few days to make sure, you know, I wasn't going to have a reaction. Well, I should have said a negative reaction to it. And I, I do think this is really going to be it. It has an odor to it. I don't know what it smells like, but it's not a strong odor and it's not a bad odor. I'm seeing if it's going to take some of this right away. I should have brought it. <laughs> I am so retarded. I could have. <laughs> All right, this is what we're going to do really quick. <laughs> we're going to do one of these. <laughs> I know I got this brush sitting here, so I am going to put it to use. And you know what? I should have just stuck with one side of my face. And we're going to see. I am liking this though so far so hopefully my face won't break out later tonight but we will see if, if this really is as good a shade as it looks like it is but I, I think it is and there's a mirror down here so I don't need to be all up in your face it is evening me out Let's see if it'll get this redness um, from around my nose from my glasses and my under eye discoloration. It does feel lightweight, like she said. See if it'll get that redness from around my nose. You know what, guys and gals? This is a soft brush, but that's not what I was going to say. I think I have another foundation match. Wow. This does this brush does feel nice. Look at that. And I'm even happy with under my eyes. 
and the redness, some of the redness from here where my glasses were, the redness around my nose, at least on this side of the screen. And the mirror down here, I do see a lot of, not a lot of, but I still do see some discoloration under my eyes. I like this foundation. Hopefully I won't have a negative reaction to it because this may be another one that I can use. And, and it does feel lighter than the cover effects. That one is full coverage and it does feel thick sometimes and feels heavy. And when I start to sweat, I can like feel it wanting to like slide off my face, which it doesn't because of the setting powder and the setting spray. But I can just feel it on my skin. I like this. Oh my gosh. And this is good. I think this is a really good match. My face and neck are not the same color, but like with this, this is looking the same color. It's not looking pinky, it's not looking peachy. So hopefully, um, I will not have a negative reaction. And also, because it, it did seem to really nail my undertone, which the Cover FX G60 does. So I wear that all year round. I just have to be sure to use a bronzer certain times a year, depending on my level of tanness. And so if this one continues to match my undertone as I get a tan and lose a tan, I may be able to do the same thing with that and just make sure I use a bronzer like around the perimeter of my face. This is a match. Fawn, if you're a G60 and the Cover FX Power Play Foundation, you are also a fawn and the Becca Skin Love Foundation. Can you dig it? I'm digging it. So I'll wear it the rest of the night and see if it's going to... I'm not going to set it or anything. I'm just going to see what it does and see how my skin feels. But I'm, I like it. And I'm going to go because I'm going to keep saying that. Like, I'm just surprised because foundations don't really match me. And down here, I do still see discoloration, but it may just be the shadowing from the light because the lights up here and the camera's down here like I'm sorry the lights up here and the mirror is down here where there isn't a light but thank you for watching um you'll see me in the next video <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell thanks guys bye